Jared, another lovely round for you here at Kalgoorlie Golf Course. You really love this place, don't you? I really do. Um, I've got a great feeling about this place and it just suits my whole lot and I just love playing here. Uh, talk us through the round today. Um, it was really good. I got off to a bit of a slow start, just um, struggled a bit with the pace of the greens, but um, got, got the hang of it on the front nine and made a lot of birdies, which was good to finish off. Playing with a nice group out there as well, it must have been a fun day. Yeah, playing with Brady and, um, and Dale, it's, it's been a great couple of days and we kind of push each other along nicely. Um, Brady played great and Dale hung in there, so hopefully low one for the boys tomorrow. You're no stranger to the top end of the leaderboard. Do you feel like that gives you some confidence heading into the weekend? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've been here before, so uh, hopefully I can continue on tomorrow, shoot a nice round and, and kick on for the Sunday. We spoke yesterday about um, your record at Kalgoorlie in this tournament. Given that record, how much more do you want to win here? Um, I want to win here really badly, but I can't kind of take it that way. i just got to keep doing what I'm doing, just just playing middle of the greens and just taking my, taking my putts when I can and birdie the holes that I play good shots on and just minimising my mistakes, which I have the last kind of two days. I've only made two bogeys from a couple of three putts. So I'm hitting good shots and just, just taking it one shot at a time. All right, excellent. Thanks very much. Best Thank of luck on the weekend. Thank you. Simon, lovely playing from you here in the second round of the TX Civil and Logistics WA PGA Championship. Can you talk us through it? Uh, yeah, so I started off pretty well. So I had a birdie on the uh, second and third. Then, um, unfortunately, uh, cost myself a two-stroke penalty by taking uh, incorrect relief from an aeration mark in the fairway, which kind of knocked me back to square. Then I just managed to make six birdies coming in, and, yeah, that's, that's how it felt, yeah. Just six birdies, that casual, hey? Yeah, I just I felt I was playing really well. I said yesterday I felt I putted really good, just didn't quite have matching up the line and the speed, and then today they just I just was able to do that. You know, I just felt a little bit more comfortable in the greens with the green speed, and, yeah, everything went in today. Simon, we were talking earlier and a lot of people may not have known a lot about you before your Vic Open win, but now you're regularly contending and your name seems to be at the top end of the leaderboard a lot. I guess, what was the difference? I guess I started here a couple of years ago. Um, I said I ended up making a triple on my second last hole, missing the cut. I, I ran out of money, you know, I wasn't really enjoying playing, but it took me three months off to kind of walk away from the game, you know, reassess my goals, you know. I knew I wanted to be out here again, you know, so... Then it's just been a two-year journey from there. You know, it's been uh, learning my game a lot more. You know, getting myself fitter, getting myself mentally right. You know, uh, travelling better. So it's been a two-year journey to get here. But I kind of felt at the start of the year that I finally had all the skill sets to compete out here. And I guess, I guess I'm starting to put some results on board. And in that boost in confidence does that make a real big difference that you come into tournaments now feeling like you're, you know, one of the favourites? Oh, there's a lot of really good players here, and that's the, that's the great thing about the Australasia Tour, there are so many guys, any, anyone, there's probably 20, 30 guys who could win every week if, if they, they bring their A game. So for me, I just know that my A game is just as good as anybody else's in the country. So that's what gives me the confidence to go out and shoot scores like this. So. A lovely second round for you today here at the TX Civil and Logistics WA PGA Championship. Can you talk us through it? Yeah, no, it was really solid. Um, got off to a good start, couple under through nine and then um, made the turn and uh, made birdie on... Um, uh, Eagle on 11 and Birdie on 12, so yeah, got off to a nice start and sort of just held on to that and unfortunately bogeyed the last, but yeah, it was a solid round. Can you talk us through that Eagle? Yeah, uh, it was on 11, so I hit um, driver three wood to probably, I don't know, maybe 12, 14 feet and just pretty easy straight up the hill part and yeah, it kept the round going nicely. Conditions seem to be a bit nicer this morning than they were yesterday afternoon. How do you think the score, your score is going to stand up at the end of the day? Yeah, it's hard to say to see if it's going to get windy, but um, yeah, I had three layers on this morning and a beanie, so it was a bit, yeah, I was a bit stiff um, early on in the round, but yeah, it's pretty perfect out there now. There is a bit of breeze, but nothing like yesterday, so we'll see what happens though. Currently leading, lovely position to be in heading into the weekend. What's the plan? Um, no, I'm not going to change anything. Um, I don't like to, yeah, I'll just stay aggressive. That's my, probably the key out there. Um, previously, I probably tried to hang on a little bit too much, so just stay aggressive. I didn't realise I was leading, so um, just just stay aggressive. And, um, yeah, if I putt, I'm hitting it really well, so I can start holding a few more putts and hopefully get, get some more under par, so we'll see what happens. And how's the form been like coming into this week? Uh, I'd probably say up and down is the best way to describe it. I, I had a week off last week for a wedding in Queenstown and then a couple of weeks before that I played some pro-ams in Adelaide, picked up a win but around that it was pretty scratchy so the good's good and the bad's been pretty poor so um, look I'm striking it well so hopefully this weekend I can sort of yeah see what happens, polish it off.